I'm Werther Andersson. I'm a professor of biochemistry from Sweden. And uh, I've gone from cold to warm uh, since I lived uh, 11 years in Singapore and I have been leading Nanyang Technological University, NTU, as its provost and also its president. And I'm very excited to come to Laval in France to be part of the Eon Reality Fest, where I'm supposed to, to give a talk. The title of my talk is Transformation of University Educations for the 21st Century Classroom 3.0. And I will today here try to get a short summary. What's important to realize is that education is changing quite a lot in, in universities, maybe more than ever before. And uh, that is driven by new pedagogic principles, but also by new technologies. So NTU is one of the two top universities in Singapore. It's a really big university with 32,000 students. It's also a very young university founded in 1991. It's also highly ranked and its ranking has gone up very rapidly. So it's uh, 11, ranked 11 in the world, number one in Asia and Times Higher have classified NTU as the most rapidly developing university in the world. And uh, very importantly, one of the key factors behind this rapid rise is a reform of education to make an education for the 21st century. When we think about education, when we were students, when we went to universities, uh, we were sitting in big classrooms, maybe 50 to 300 people. We were sitting in rows together in a theater setting. And uh, professor, the teacher, was standing in front of us, talking, preaching, and we as students were sitting there listening. We were quite passive consumers of information, you could say. But that format is being challenged very much by rapid developments in information technology. And I normally say that in education today, we are going from Gutenberg to Gates, and I also say that our most important professor is Professor iPad. Professor iPad knows all the answers. So when you go to a classroom today, there is no lectures, everything is recorded, uh, there is team-based learning, no passive students. Uh, we have what we call flipped classrooms, where the student sits in group around small table discussing, and they have all the technological support you can imagine, and the professor is not really a lecturer anymore. He's more like a tutor or a discussion leader. So this is what I call Classroom 2.0, a new important development. And many universities like NTU are steaming ahead with this technology, while of course others are more conservative and still remain in the Classroom 1.0 frame. So I have talked here about Classroom 1.0 turning Classroom 2.0. But I also envisage that we're soon going to see an additional development, Classroom 2.0 developing into Classroom 3.0. And a driving force in this new development is 3D and 3D technology. Why? Well, you see, I think our world around us is 3D. Our brain and our eyes turn all images we have into 3D. Therefore, Learning in 3D is the natural way of learning, actually. You have text or pictures on paper or on computer screens. They are 2D, of course. And when we look at 2D information, we automatically have to turn that information to 3D within our brains. You can call that this is creative thinking or abstract thinking. But that is what's going to happen, what needs to happen for us to understand concepts, say, within chemistry, medicine, biology, particle physics, engineering, architecture in urban design, environment, and, and so forth. These topics are natural in 3D, others as well. So therefore, I feel that the classroom 3.0 will be the natural choice eventually. That's where we had to arrive. 
But for this to happen, I think we need much more research. We need more interaction between the educators and the technology developers. And if this happens, and I'm sure it will, not least with the help of Ian Reality and its new academy, is to make that happen. And in that case, Classroom 3.0 will be real in the years to come. And I think it's going to be a very exciting development and I think it's going to be a very rewarding uh, activity for us all. Thank you very much. Thank you.